So hello, today we will deal with cor pulmonale. This is, as the name implies, a, a, a heart disease caused by lung disease. Core will stand for heart in this case, pulmonale will stand for lung. So it's a heart disease, right ventricular heart disease caused by lung disease. Why? The right ventricle is pumping blood to the lungs. If the pressure of blood builds up in the lung because we have a lung disease and the lung does not function good, the heart right ventricle cannot pump blood to the lung properly, then the right ventricle will be exhausted. It tries and tries to pump blood to the lungs, but it cannot do it because the pressure is so high, because we have a lung disease. And then it gets exhausted and we get heart failure, right ventricular heart failure. Good. And the most common cause, we'll deal with the causes here today. The most common cause is actually COPD. This is a chronic disease, chronic lung disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. And we can divide the causes into acute and chronic. Acute ones are, for example, when we have pulmonary embolism. This is happening very quickly. Acute means something related to time. Is it, is it fast or is it a longer period, month or years? If it's fast, if it's acute, and then it's usually pulmonary embolism. If it's chronic, then it's usually COPD. These are the two main diseases that you actually need to remember. There are many, many other rare or, or rare diseases that can cause acute or chronic. But please remember two, two things in core pulmonale. Acute for pulmonary embolism or chronic for uh, COPD. Of course, for acute, we have also uh, mechanical ventilation injuries. When we're... Uh, ventilating the patient mechanically, for example, anesthesiologists do that, then they can damage the lung and thereby cause an acute um, core pulmonale. But this is, this is rare, okay? And the chronic, we have also a lot of, uh, I have a whole list of rare diseases, but for example, systemic sclerosis is worth at least to mention. Systemic sclerosis, this is an autoimmune disease that can cause fibrosis in the lungs and then high pressure and then pulmonary hypertension and then we get uh, core pulmonale. Also, we have interstitial fibrosis, pulmonary interstitial fibrosis. Or we have, for example, during surgery, the, the, the patient's lung is cut and it's, it's uh, getting a trauma to it and therefore the lung is not functioning and the pressure builds up and then you get core pulmonale. Obesity can co uh, cause this also. Neuromuscular disorder, diso disorders, which are affecting the respiratory muscles of the patient. And then the, uh, the can patient cannot breathe normally due to these neuromuscular disorders, and therefore you get the high pressure again and core pulmonale. Good, I think that, that is enough. So I want to just, uh, you to remember uh, two things in this presentation, pulmonary embolism of acute type, of corporal malnale and COPD for chronic type, but you can also remember systemic sclerosis or pulmonary interstitial fibrosis and so on. Th there are many others that can cause it, but the main concept I want you to remember is that core pulmonale, as the name suggests, is a heart disease, right ventricular heart disease caused by a lung disease and the pressure builds up we get pulmonary hypertension, it means, and therefore the right ventricle gets exhausted because it cannot pump the blood to the lung so, so good and it, the patient gets heart failure and the heart failure is very dangerous because the patient can die. So core pulmonale is very important to treat, otherwise you get heart failure and you can die. So please remember two things, as I said, pulmonary embolism and COPD causing core pulmonale. Thank you very much for listening.